<laughs> oh, what do you got? It's a beautiful day out here. I'm so happy to be out here. What's going on guys? Today we are out here. It is a beautiful like 40 degree day. Absolutely no wind. And today is Shelby's day. Shelby, what are we doing today? We are pike fishing with iFish Pros. I'm trying to get, you know, a 40 inch here. We'll see. There are some big pike in here, but uh, it is just too nice not to run a big spread today. Um, and Shelby absolutely loves catching pike. Um, I like catching big pike, but uh, today we're gonna do our best just to catch a whole bunch of pike and hopefully some big ones in the mix. Um, so I gotta get a few more lines set up and uh, get the underwater camera going, see if we can't get one in the shack. And uh, yeah, I mean, what do you think? I'm excited. It's too nice not to be out today. Yeah. So stay tuned. Um, yeah, hopefully we get a whole bunch of flags. Well, in addition to just our normal pike spread, also going to mix it up and run an open water rod because I want to catch a fish on an open water rod. So basically all we're doing is just running the same thing you'd run on an iFish Pro, obviously with a bigger base. And uh, we'll just use the iFish Pro for the trigger assembly. So hopefully this goes up at some point today. Um, I've done this in the past and it is a lot of fun to set the hook on a big rod like this through the ice. Yeah, take it. Got him? Yeah. No? Yep. Do you feel big yet? It's probably got a lot no, of line on it. No, it doesn't so feel big yet. You got 50 pound fluoro, so if he, he does seem big, you gotta let him run. Holy cow, look at that largemouth. That was like the was biggest like that. the biggest minnow we had. What do you think? He ate that minnow. I haven't even really gotten set up yet. No. Just big, got set up. Big largey to start. Yep. Whatever. I'm cool with that. Feel weight. Got, got him? Yep. Whoa. Yeah. What do you think? It's gonna be hard to tell if he's super big because we're fishing pretty shallow. What do you think? Oh, it might be a big one. Might be a good one. Made a nice little run right away. Ooh, I like that. Okay, you're at the leader now, so it's more just pulling up. No, no, not with your hand, not with your hand. Alright, let me go for the scoop. There we go. Nice. It's a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Out here with a bunch of iFish pros, uh, pike fishing. What do you think? I'm excited. Hopefully we get a bunch more. I'm looking for a big one. There he goes. Nice. Pick it up. Hang on, hang on. Reel down. You're on the ice. Keep reeling. Set. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? That was awesome. I don't think he's very big though. He's already right here. Look at that little guy. guy. Just a little guy. Still hoping for that big one. I'm thinking we'll get there. There he goes. Oh, what do you got? Is he still on? Yeah. It's probably small. Is it fun on the long rod? Yes. The fight is way better. It might not be that bad. Oh, Ooh. God. <laughs> All right, you're at the leader, so just pull slow. Let him run if he wants to. Better fish. What? Better fish. Yeah. Go real easy with them right here. Get a little bit closer to the hole. So you're like right over the top. Bigger? Yeah, not a giant, but. Oh, he's fat. We'll take those ones. It's a beautiful day out here. I'm so happy to be out here. We have 
big old suckers out on our iFish Pros. Um, this is closer to what we're looking for. This is a fatty. Caught a bunch of small ones, so we're getting there. So one thing that's super important that I always try to do is move tip-ups around. You know, a lot of guys have the tendency to come out here, they get set up, they catch a few fish, and that's their spread for the whole day. But realistically, what you want to be doing is moving these things around, especially if you have some that just aren't getting bit. A lot of times, even if I go an hour without a flag at a certain a certain tip-up, I'll just keep moving it around. You know, it's no different than hole hopping for walleyes. It's no different than hole hopping for perch and crappies. You got to kind of keep moving sampling water. You know, these fish, it's not like um, a lot of times there's like the honey spot, right? Especially because we're fishing a big flat like this. So all I do keep doing is moving these things 50 yards, 20 yards over here, 30 yards over here, and uh, just trying to put it in front of more fish. And uh, a lot of times that pays off. And pike love when you have a bait that starts falling down to the bottom. They can see that thing falling under the ice and you can just imagine that minnow kicking real slow. So, you know, don't be afraid to move those tip-ups a whole bunch throughout the day. I only got one tip up left in its original hole right now. I'm going to keep going around moving them. So um, it definitely pays off. Definitely gets more bites in scenarios like this where you're fishing big flats. They look real slow. Oh. Got him. Oh. Seems good. Yeah. Oh, reel up. Oh. Keep it on. We lost him. No, I didn't. He's right there? Never mind. Yeah, I did. I'm starting to get a athlete's foot. You're starting to get athlete's foot? Yeah, like you have. <laughs> like, I, from what? Your feet are wet? Well, they're, I haven't washed these socks in like a week. Gross. Well, that's what happened. Are you filming? Yeah. Oh. It's going in the video. <laughs> Why do you like pike fishing so much? They are awesome fighters. That's why. And also, I think they're beautiful fish. Yeah, they are. Their patterns cool. are really pretty. Got it. Got him that time. He's decent. I'm out of breath from that run. He is a good fish, Shelby. I don't think you're really gaining my yeah, that's be a decent one. Ooh. Oh. Circle around the hole a little bit. I'm gonna get right by the holes and I'm gonna be slightly more ginger on them. Okay. You seen him yet? <laughs> no. There. That's a nice one. Look at that one. That's a good chunker. Yeah, good one. Beauty. We got another big one. Um, well, decent. Uh, hopefully we get more. I could do this all day. Unfortunately, we only probably only have a couple more hours. Yeah, we started at like one. Yeah. It's about uh, three thirty now. So. But caught a bunch. So. Catching fish. Yep. I right, pick it up slow. Got him. Up. Ooh. Is it good? I think so. That was hard to tell. It is. Look at that. Will you grab him? <laughs> Another large one. <laughs> Crazy. Two large mouth in a day. Uh, very exciting. I was not expecting this. Yeah, I've never caught a bass out here in my life. And I today can't believe we've how two. light it is. Okay. Very strange colors on them out uh -huh. here. Nice. <laughs> nice northern Wisconsin large mouth. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, this was Shelby's day to catch fish on tip-ups. Was it a success? It was a huge success. Lots of fun. Nice weather. Couldn't have asked for a better day. It was a great day to be outside. Um, so, yeah, we don't do a whole lot of pike videos, but always a good time chasing flags, especially when it's this nice out. And Shelby absolutely loves pike, so I'm glad she got to catch a bunch. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, if you're not yet, uh, please subscribe to this channel. We've got a whole bunch more content coming, and uh, soon we will be back in a boat um, fishing for giant walleyes. It'll be a couple weeks yet, but I'm very excited about that. Any last words? No. Nope. <laughs> do the camera punch. Boom.